Hi guys, good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Walgreens this morning. It is so early, you guys. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the time change. So I went to bed a little later than normal. And when my alarm went off this morning, it was about 5.30, I walked through the kitchen and I'm like, why does the, <laughs> why does the clock on the stove say 4.30 in the morning? Why am I up at 4.30 in the morning? And then I realized that the time went forward an hour. Totally didn't account for that. So, a little tired, but I am here. <laughs> so, we're going to head into the Walgreens. I'm going to walk you through the deals. Of course, as always, I'll have a printable list below the video. So, you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's going to help make your shopping trip super easy. Now, if you're completely new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any any new ones so hopefully you guys can see me okay it's really dark and then also I forgot my um little thing that holds my phone so I've got it propped up and I'm like we're we're working as best we can here <laughs> but we are gonna look at newbie friendly deals spin booster deals all of that good stuff and as always I'll go over my receipt with you guys once we get done and talk final costs so let's go ahead in here and check out the deals all right guys so we've got so many freebies on the colgate today so starting off with the toothbrushes they're 3.99 each grab two for a total of 7.98 we have a four dollar digital coupon for the toothbrushes so we're going to pay 3.98 but earn four dollars walgreens cash making both completely free and you can pay with walgreens cash on this deal Next up, we have the same deal on the toothpaste, $3.99 each, two total you $7.98. We have a $4 digital coupon just for toothpaste. So after that, you are going to pay $3.98, but get $4 Walgreens cash, making both of these completely free as well. So super excited they gave us a separate coupon for each deal. Just awesome, awesome freebies right there. So we're going to go ahead and grab these, and we're going to pick up one more Colgate deal. So our next Colgate deal is on the mouthwash. Again, $3.99 each. Grab two of these. Your total is going to be $7.98. Use the four off two digital for the mouthwash. Then you're going to pay $3.98, earn $4 Walgreens cash, making both completely free. A few quick tips, you can go ahead and you can submit this over to Fetch Rewards to earn 5% back on Colgate products. So these would end up being free and a money maker with that. And you can pay with Walgreens cash on any of these deals. You can also do them all together in one transaction if you want. So very newbie friendly. So definitely take advantage of these deals. Next, if you want to do a different Colgate deal, these are $2.99 each and they earn a $2 register reward when you buy two. So if you wanted to use your $4 coupon for these, you could. You would still come out free because after the coupon, you'd pay $1.98, earn a $2 register reward. Next up, I wanted to show you guys a deal on the Balmex. This right here is the one in the box. We have this $2 printable coupon that you can print and I'll link it link it below you'd pay $5.29 here in the store but submit to Ibotta for $4 back making it $1.29 next up we have the soft soap deal so this is the body wash two of these is going to total you $7.98 we do have a $1 digital coupon to get you down to $6.98 for two but you're going to earn back $5 Walgreens cash when you buy two making the final cost $1.98 for both of these and you can pay with your Walgreens cash so next up, if you need some Nivea lotion, they're buy one, get one 50% off, spend 20, get $10 Walgreens cash. So on this deal, I actually saw Shop with Sarah post this in her must-do deals video. So I thought it was a pretty good deal, but I would have to switch it up if I was doing it here at my store because I don't have some of those same items. But for example, if you picked up one for $7.79, one for $6.49, and then two more for $6.49, they'd be $3.24 each. We have these coupons, and I'll put on the printable list where they're from. I believe it's the three 
six save insert but we've got a 450 off two a two dollar off one and then we have a two dollar digital off of one so if you're using all of those same coupons it would get you down to 1226 you'd go ahead and pay that out of pocket but you would get one dollar back on ibotta if you pick up the sensitive and radiant and then you get ten dollars walgreens cash for spending over 20. it would make the final cost a dollar 26 for all four which is definitely not a bad deal so if you like the Tresemme shampoo, they're on sale this week too for $10. We have a $5 digital coupon. Using that coupon, you would pay $5. You can pay with Walgreens cash and you'll earn back a $4 register reward for the deal of the week. And that would make your final cost just two for $1. So only 50 cents each, definitely a steal for this hair care. So if you like the Nexus shampoo and conditioner, right now, this week, they are spend 20, get $10 Walgreens cash. As you can see, the cheapest priced one here at my store is $16.99. This deal is definitely cheaper if you do it online, but if you want to pick it up in store, you could grab one of these big bottles for $26.99. We have a $5 digital coupon, or you can use a $5 paper coupon that came in today's Unilever insert. Using that $5 coupon would take you down to $21.99, but then you would pay that out of pocket and earn back ten dollars walgreens cash making it 11.99 for that huge bottle so not too bad but if you have a spin booster you could put it with it and you could save even more example if you have a spin 20 get five you could use that Next, if you need some Viva paper towels, they're $4.99 this week. We have a $1 digital coupon. That would make these just $3.99. And of course, always keep an eye out for any rebates, maybe on Fetch Rewards or Ibotta to make these even cheaper. Now, the Scott toilet paper and paper towels are buy one, get one 50% off at $5 each. My store is completely out of the toilet paper. But if you were to pick up both, your total would be $7.50. We have a $1 digital for paper towels, a $1 digital coupon coupon for the toilet paper. So after both of those, it would end up making it $5.50 for both packs, which is not bad. Um, my Fetch Rewards has an offer for $0.50 cents back if I buy two of the paper towels, so I may do that just because my store doesn't have the toilet paper. Next up, we have the Gillette Shave Gel. They're buy one, get one 50% off. So one would be $2.99 and the other would be $1.49. You would pay $4.48. You can pay with Walgreens cash if you have it, but earn back a $4 register reward, making the final cost just 48 cents for both. All right, guys, I think I'm about to head over to check out. I'm going to use a $3 manufacturer register reward to lower my out of pocket a little bit on the Scott and the soft soap. Then I'm going to do a spin 50 get 10 deal. I have this paper booster that printed for me the other day, and I have a digital booster for spin 50 get 10 as well. So by spending 50, I'll get back $20 in Walgreens cash with the two boosters. All right, guys, so I'm going to grab some Cetaphil as well, and I'll go over this scenario with you once we get back to the house. But I have my buy one, get one free coupon and the spin 20 20 get six printed for me when I did my other transaction. So I am going to pick up a couple of these items. This one for $16.99. We have a four off two store coupon that we can also pair in with this. And I think I'm going to grab this one for $9.99 because that's the cheapest one here at my store. I'll let you know how it goes in a little bit. All right, guys, so we are back in the car from Walgreens. I'm holding the phone since I forgot my phone holder. Um, everything went pretty well, you guys. I did Walgreens cash deals instead of register reward deals, and I think that we got all of our Walgreens cash. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head home, look over this receipt, talk final costs. Didn't have to worry about whether or not the register rewards were printing. So super happy about that. Let's go ahead and see what our final cost was for everything we picked up today, which was quite a lot of stuff. Got a whole bag packed full. So I'll see you at the house. All right, guys, so I am back home, and this is my Walgreens haul for this week. I have three separate receipts that I'm going to go over with you guys to talk final cost. So the first deal we're going to look at is the one that I did for the Scott paper towels and the soft soap body wash. So I did those by themselves, was not using a spin booster on this deal or anything. So let's go ahead and let's look at the receipt. You can see right here, they were buy one, get one 50% off, and then the soft soap was $3.99 each. So on this one, we had a $1 digital coupon for soft soap and a $1 digital coupon for Scott. 
I used a $3 manufacturer register reward to help lower my cost a little more, and that brought me down to a subtotal of $10.48. Now I was able to use $10 in Walgreens cash on this transaction, so I only paid $0.48 cents plus tax out of pocket on this. Now we earned back $5.05. That was the $5 for the soft soap body wash. So on this transaction, if you add back in the $3 manufacturer register reward I used, that means our total would have been $13.48. Get $5.05 back in Walgreens cash, plus get 50 cents back on fetch rewards for the paper towels. That would end up making my final cost on this transaction $7.93. Now, I knew that I was going to owe a little bit on this transaction, but I knew that one of my other transactions was going to be a moneymaker to help cover this cost. So, we'll talk about that here in just a second. So, our second transaction we did... This one was our large transaction. It was not that large of a transaction, but money-wise, it was pretty high up there. So we were picking up all of the Colgate products and the Nexus. So the Nexus alone was $26.99. Then each of the Colgate products were $3.99 each. We got two toothpaste, two toothbrushes, and two of the mouthwash. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this. I was using a spin 50, get $10 Walgreens cash paper booster, as well as a spin 50, get $10 Walgreens cash digital booster. So stacking together, as long as we spend $50 before manufacture coupons, we're gonna earn back $20 in Walgreens cash just from that alone, not even including the other rewards for these other items. So if you look right here on my receipt, you can see all the Colgate products, two of them at $7.98, and then the Nexus for $26.99. Now we scan my paper booster for spend 50, get 10. You can see my coupons. You can use a $5 digital for Nexus. I did use my paper coupon, but you can use the digital. Then we had three $4 off two Colgate coupons. So that brought us down to $33.93. I did go ahead and pay that out of pocket. I always pay with my PayPal debit card because I have rebate money that I've earned from my Bata, um, Shopkick, different places like that. And I use it for my couponing. And then once I earn more back, I just put it back in there again. So I'm okay with using some of that to go ahead and do this deal and earn some more Walgreens cash. So for some reason on the bottom of my receipt, it did not print out the parts that just show, you know, the Walgreens cash that you just earned. It only shows what my balance was before I did the deal. So it was really weird. But anyways, I did check online and I did get the credit. So I'm going to pop it up here on the screen. So we paid $33.93 out of pocket. You can see right here on the screen, we got back a total of $42.50 in Walgreens cash on this deal. Now, 20 of that was for the two boosters. 10 of that was for the Nexus. And then we got $4 for each of the Colgate deals. So $4 for the mouthwash, $4 for the two toothpaste, and $4 for the two toothbrushes. So overall, that transaction ended up being completely free and an $8.57 moneymaker. Apollo is just laid out over here, you guys. <laughs> So if we take this transaction and say, okay, it was an $8.57 moneymaker, and then we go ahead and say, okay, well, this transaction over here actually cost us $7.93. That means that this transaction pretty much paid for that one. And remember, we paid very little out of pocket on this one by paying with Walgreens cash. So overall, so far, we've got everything for free. Then we're going to look over here at the Cetaphield deal. So on this deal, I saw last week Shop With Sarah did a deal on Cetaphield and she was using the buy one get one free coupon and she said that it took off the full amount of the larger one. So I went ahead and I tried that out. It did work, no problem. So I was really excited about that. So I wanted to show you guys what I got here on the receipt. So if you look here, we had the Cetaphil for $9.99, which was this one right here, the scrub. And then the mask, that one was $16.99. Now, with that being said, we have a four off two digital store coupon that takes $2 off of each one. So it's a four off two. So you're going to get $2 off your $9.99, $2 off of the $16.99, making it $14.99. When they scan your buy one, get one free coupon, it takes off the amount of the largest amount item. So with that being said, it took off the $14.99 because that's the cost after the store coupon. I did have that spin booster that I showed you guys in the store for spin 20 
and get $6 in Walgreens cash. So what I did is I went ahead and used it on this transaction. So you can see right here, my subtotal was $7.99. You can see that I earned back $6.22 in Walgreens cash. That was for that spend 20, get six booster, and then 22 cents with the everyday Walgreens cash. So I did pay $7.99 out of pocket on this, but again, got back $6.22. So the final cost for this transaction ended up being just a dollar and 77 cents, which is just amazing. I'm super, super excited with how that turned out because these products are so pricey. I mean, just the two items alone would have cost around $27. So getting that for $1.77 is great. Maybe some I bought a rebates will pop back up or something, but none as of right now when I'm recording. But overall, we're looking at all of our transactions. I also ended up submitting over to Fetch Rewards for um, my receipt that had the Colgate on it and earning back 5% cash back. So I wanted to let you guys know, once I added everything up, we had, okay, this transaction right here and the one with the soft soap and the Scott together cost me $9.70. If you take away the eight fifty seven money maker, then that made it a dollar thirteen for everything. But I got back a dollar seventy on fetch rewards, so that ended up making all of this completely free and a fifty seven cent money maker. So I am so excited about that. And on top of that, when I scanned in my fetch rewards receipt. It popped up a bonus that I did not even know was on there, so it may not show up for you until you scan in a receipt, but when you spend $30 on Unilever products, you get $10 back on Fetch Rewards. Now, because I did not know that before I did my shopping, um, I ended up being $3 away from earning the rewards. So the Nexus obviously is what got me there because this is a Unilever product. So. If you spend $30 on the Unilever products, you could earn back $10 on Fetch Rewards. So I'm $3 away from that. So maybe I'll get that later this week or maybe on my next haul because I believe that that Fetch Rewards rebate is good until a little bit into April and I'll have it popped up on the screen for you guys. But overall, I'm super excited with how this deal went today. And just to let you know, on the Cetaphil, if you want to get something different, I did test this out um, right before I did these transactions. I tested it out on one more deal. And on that one, I was getting a more pricey product at $22.99. And the coupon, it did take off $20 because the store coupon took off $2 off of that. Then the manufacturer coupon took off $20 and then of course I paid like the regular price for the other item but it ended up being a really great deal so I just want to let you know it will take off the higher priced item even if that item you know is more than $20 it still comes off so let me know if you are going to do any of these same deals don't forget to grab your printable list in the description box below and I will see you in the next one bye guys